Hello there everyone, you've tuned in UXW Bill, and with this video I announce my entrance into the Flashing Bulb Contest for the year 2017. Yes, here again I find myself inspired by fellow YouTuber V West Life, who not only entered this contest, but also by the presence of his video upload made me aware that it was going on. Now I have to admit that I'm just doing this for fun. I wouldn't care at all about winning. In fact, I'm sure there are far better ideas that deserve the prize, such as the method that fellow YouTuber V Westlife came up with, where he decided to produce an audio cassette with music in one channel and a 60 cycle waveform in the other channel repeated on a regular basis so that as the music played through the speaker, the other channel of the amplifier, which was hooked up to an incandescent lamp, would turn on and off on a periodic basis, satisfying the requirements of the contest. Speaking of the contest, they mentioned that a number of different methods by which the bulb can be turned on and off are permissible. The only real stipulation that I'm aware of is that it must be an incandescent bulb. And just to confirm that, here is the incandescent bulb that I will be using. This is a 6 volt lamp out of a flashlight of some description. In fact, that's where the, the reflector and contact assembly were shamelessly borrowed from. And here's a battery that serves to power it. I'm going for the electromechanical approach involving a box fan that I picked up off of a scrap pile somewhere. A hang tag made of manila paperboard covered with aluminum foil and attached to the battery with a clip lead. And then up in here we have a slot blank taken from a small form factor HP computer with a bad motherboard that I just recently finished scrapping out. The idea here is that as the fan paddles go by they will bump into the paperboard tag, they will push it into the slot blank, and when they do an electrical contact will be created and the bulb will come on and this voltmeter which is attached to the same circuit as the bulb will indicate that there's no shenanigans going on here, that I'm really doing this 100% for real. Another stipulation of the contest is that your approach should have a certain measure of longevity to it, that if it only lasts 30 seconds or similar it's no good, so they'd like to see a five minute demonstration. Here again I have no idea if this thing will actually survive for five minutes or not because this is a real Rube Goldberg of a thing. And if you're thinking that the moment I turn this fan on it's going to go too fast and thus keep me from meeting another stipulation of the competition which governs the flash rate of the bulb between half a cycle per second to two cycles per second or thereabouts, well you'd ordinarily be right but I am controlling the fan speed through this handy variable auto transformer which allows me to adjust the line voltage from zero up to about 130 volts AC or so and I'm hoping that I'll be able to find a sweet spot where I can control the fans motor speed precisely enough to meet the requirements of the contest. And here's a voltmeter that's been attached to the variable auto transformer so we can find out approximately what voltage will work. Let's go ahead and spin the thing up and just see what happens here. The motor will need a voltage boost to kick over but once it takes off I can turn it down you can definitely tell that it's working, but there will be some hunting involved to find the sweet spot where it runs at the proper frequency and yet the added load of the paper tag in there won't stall the motor and the fan hopefully won't tear the paper tag up. So I'll do that and then we'll be back in just a moment to see if this thing will actually run for the prescribed minimum of five minutes. And if you think this isn't the nicest thing to be doing to an electric fan motor, you are absolutely correct. This is probably going to be the longest 300 seconds of my life here in just a moment.
Well, I'm not sure I believe it, but there it is, folks. I made it to the requisite five minutes. <laughs> By the way, if you're interested in creating your own entry for this particular contest, it's open until August 1st of 2017, and you're supposed to post to Twitter a specific location on Twitter or a specific hashtag or something to indicate to the contest operators where your entry can be found so they can watch it. But if you're like me and don't have Twitter, well, I guess I'll just have to try emailing them and hope for the best. And if they accept my entry, so much the better. But if not, hey, this was still something fun to do on a mostly boring Sunday afternoon. So thank you as always for watching, and certainly do feel free to leave a comment if you happen to have one.